What's up guys, Kenny G here coming at you with another video and today we're going to be talking about the Xbox Series S which all the details on the console have finally leaked. Uh, they should have been out like three months ago but they're finally available not officially from Microsoft but a lot of different journalists are, are leaking the details and you can pretty much get them all uh, from a variety of articles. You can just Google Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, the prices are out, the release date is out and it is, uh, let me get you to the release date right now, it is November 10th and the price is $299 for the Xbox Series S and $500 USD for the Xbox Series S. Now, being a Canadian, that's probably gonna be like, what, 650 or something crazy? The currency exchange is so insane these days. Anyways, let's just get into a little bit of the details uh, of this article about the Xbox Series X and S that's over on Forbes.com. There are a ton of articles, like I was saying, guys, so you can find any of them out there to to confirm the details if you if you don't want to take my word for it but anyways let's get into it well this is what happens when you wait three months after you're supposed to be before you reveal your key information about your next gen console and it's leaked eventually tonight a number of high profile journalists have leaked and or confirmed different prices of data about the xbox series x and s which includes the price for both the release date for both and what the series s looks like and guys the series s is basically a slim Xbox Series X, but it looks like a speaker. It looks like a speaker. It looks really weird. Uh, I imagine people are going to be spilling drinks right into that giant cooling fan or whatever that thing is they've got there. There's like a giant cooling area. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. First, uh, let's continue with the article here. It says, first, the key information, which comes from Windows, Central, Jez, Corden, and Zach Bone. Uh, are these Twitter guys? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, about as reliable as you can get from Microsoft information. Ahead of a planned official reveal event soon to come, they are reporting, and then here's what I told you already, the Xbox Series S will be $300 USD, Xbox Series X coming in at $500 USD, both consoles will be out on November 10th. Now besides that, what else do we got here? So this parade of leaks started an hour or so earlier tonight with Brad Sams revealing what looked like a still of some sort leaked from a promotional image. Now if I click on this, it is exactly what I was talking about. It is, uh, well, the 299 price point and he leaked it and then a bunch of other people confirmed it that it's official. You can also see the Xbox Series S, uh, well, one, it's gonna be white, which is contrasting with the Series X, which is black. On top of that, you can see that the control is, <laughs> it looks like all the Xbox controls, just like the PS5 control is, Pretty similar to the PS4 control, slightly different, right? Um, anyways, what else? The Xbox Series S will probably not be featuring a disk drive according to Corden. And that makes sense, that makes sense because it's like a, di it's a digital only and they're trying to get in at a really nice, uh, really, I'm sorry, uh, they're trying to get in at a really low price point so that they can obviously undercut the PlayStation 5. Now Sony's gonna be in a real tight spot to like uh, compete because I imagine the PS5 is not gonna be coming in at that type of price. When you consider that we've got the Nintendo Switch is also, I think, 299 USD. Guys, uh, Amer our American friends are gonna have to help us out there because I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's 299 USD for uh, a Nintendo Switch. And uh, the PS5 is probably going to come in around $500, maybe $450, but it's definitely not going to come in at $299. So, wow, the Xbox Series S targeting, you know, like the lower consumer, lower entry point for consumers. Of course, you know, with no disk drive, you have no ability to resell games. And so you have to buy everything digitally. And guys, if you will. If you follow sales on like the digital storefronts, they don't happen that often and usually games remain at full price for a long time. So it's easy for uh, these companies to make back the, you know, like the, uh, the, the money that they're losing up front by selling you the console so cheap. Uh, if you want my personal opinion, I would still stick with the Xbox Series 
X, that is if you're going the Xbox route, I would go with the PlayStation 5 personally because they just generally have a better lineup of games, better better titles. Uh, but, you know, there are lots of Xbox fans and if you're an Xbox fan, go for the X. I would still stick with the X over the S even though the S is cheap at only 299 USD. Anyways, guys, that's really all there is to say for the time being. There is an Xbox event to be announced in the relatively close future. So anyways, guys, this is a late, late night. I rolled out of bed to film this video. So anyways, that is all for now, and we will catch you in the next video. Hey guys, this is Lydia. If you like what you see, hit that like button as it helps our channel gain exposure. Also consider smashing subscribe. If you like our content, it would really mean a lot and helps our channel grow. If you want to interact with us, leave a comment down below or follow us on Twitch at super underscore We'll see you next time.